Hey guys, welcome back to Garden You Find. I hope everyone read the disclaimer at the start of this video. Today, I'm going to talk a lot about praying mantis. It's called praying mantis probably because of the position it holds the front legs. Uh, looks more like a hand to me. It's a very unusually looking insect, which is very hard to find as it is well known for its camouflage techniques and I think that keeps it away from its predators as well. I was literally worried about this plant as it was completely infested by aphids. Oh, aphids are the worst. They tend to attack the tender branches of roses, beetle leaves and many other plants. And aphids arrive as an army to eat the plants and any gardener would hate it. But ecosystem has its own ways to contain them. One amazing thing about praying mantis is that it's the only insect that can turn its head 180 degrees in the whole world. Praying mantis not only eats pests from your garden but also can attack a range of bigger animals. If you search praying mantis versus you will you'll see a lot of results even versus cats. I've heard that humans can pet praying mantises, so what I did was I built a house for the praying mantis to see if uh, I can pet her, but till date, she's not considered it as her home. Hmm. Just before she arrived in my garden outdoor, I was sent an email from the garden center where I'm a member that if I spot a praying mantis, my garden's actually blessed. I carefully placed the house which I made in the pot where she's actively hunting right now. By the way, are you able to spot her from this angle? She's given me the opportunity to shoot her hunting techniques. She doesn't rush into catching the prey. She takes every single step carefully to make sure that her prey doesn't run away. There you go. Good job on hunting the inchworm for me. They were literally eating my mint plant. Upon some research, I found more interesting facts about praying mantis. There were kind of myths and facts. Let me start with the myths first. If your house invites a praying mantis, that means that your house is watched by angels. And the second thing is, if a child is lost, a praying mantis can lead the child back home. Hmm. Hence, considered a sign of good luck. Okay, let's, let's talk about the facts now. Number one, praying mantis can feel human vibrations. So, uh, it can sense if you're going to attack or play with it. Number two, if you manage to pet it, it can live with you for around one year. Number three, this is the most strange fact. Females kill the male mantises by eating the head after they mate. Why? Apparently the male mantis's head has a vital protein that's required for the babies to grow. A mantis can lay up to a couple of hundred eggs and are usually found in thick branches of plants or rigid surfaces in the house in the form of uteka. Although they look like grasshoppers, they are closely related to cockroaches and they also eat cockroaches. No exceptions in that. And number six, the babies hatch from anywhere between three to six months and the moment they hatch, they start fighting with each other. That's about praying mantises. Thank you for watching.